If you are an independent artist, producer, musician, you really wanna consider having a single member LLC. And I'm gonna give you seven reasons why. This applies to basically anyone who has their own hustle, whether you are selling music, whether you are selling merchandise, whether you are selling services, right? So like a music producer, if you make beat packs, anything within that realm. Having a single member LLC is the thing that's going to give you this kind of robust protection. And it's also gonna kind of make you real life. So let me go through it. Number one, when you kind of harness the power of an LLC, what it's doing is that it's, again, giving you this robust, I love that word, uh, protection with literal liability shield, right? So a liability shield basically just protects you. If you and I do a deal and you punch me in the face and that was a breach of our contract, just a terrible example, that was a breach of our contract and now I'm suing you. So. If I sue you for breach of contract, if you sign the contract as your single member LLC, meaning you are the only one that owns it, you don't have any partners. If you have this LLC, it protects you because I have to sue your LLC. I don't get to sue you. And we like that because you're the one as a real person if you have a bank account under your personal name, I can't get to that money. I can't get to your personal assets. I can only get to the stuff that your LLC owns. So again, for distinction, we have a single member LLC. It is just you in the company. The other one is called a multi-member LLC. That's when you have partners. We're not talking about that. Just you. All right, so that's number one. We're just, again, we're creating this shield for you. Number two, we're gonna go through, and um, this is the perfect fit for independent artists and producers because what you're building is kind of this solo enterprise. Now, at some point, you may later, on partners, you might hire people, contractors, employees, um, and you might do joint ventures with other people. So there's lots of different ways that you can dominate the music business. I'm excited to help you with all the things. But when, when it comes to you just kind of doing this yourself, it really gives you the best opportunity for growth and it gives you options later on. Okay, so what I mean is if you were just like right out the gate, hey, you know, John wants to help me with building the business and he's gonna give me some beats and I'll be kind of running operations and working with the artist and you wanna start a record label. Awesome, I love it. But you don't know the value of your company. So if you're just giving away 50% right out the gate and then John, decides to start a family or he goes back to school and now he's too busy. Well, he still owns that part of the company. And so guess what? I'm the one that gets the call to my law firm and you're like, John's such a dirt bag. He owns 50% of the company, but I'm doing all the work. This is literally how these situations go. So if you kind of just decide you are going to be the one that owns the business and you can give profits, you know, profit participation, you can give all kinds of things away, but you're not going to give any portion of the business, you'll be happy. So the single member LLC structure is really great for anyone who is starting out. But even if you are kind of like in the game and you're making money, it still is really smart because you own 100% of everything. All right. So then number three. When it comes to kind of like, you know, the best tips for how to do the single member LLC thing, right? You gotta make sure you actually register. Don't just start using the LLC, okay? I see you. You're like John's Blue Rose Music Beds. That's not too bad of a name. LLC, I dig it, but if you're just using the LLC and you aren't actually registered in the state that you're doing business in, you're gonna be in an ouchie because you're not gonna get the actual protection because again, we punched you in the face, it was a breach of contract, still a terrible example, but you get sued. If you aren't a real LLC and that you didn't register with your state, you don't get the protection. And in fact, John hired me and I found out that you aren't a real LLC and I'm like, oh, he's a faker. So now I am actually gonna sue you personally. So the way you do this is that you just look up, do like a Google search, secretary of state, register an LLC, and it's pretty intuitive as far as how to do it. So as far as, you know, you can absolutely walk yourself through it. It's great to have a professional to do it for you because it will save you time and money and headache, you know, but I did my first one when I was 16 by myself. It's possible, just do it, okay? So then number four, when it comes to having that single member LLC, um, make sure you get your EIN. It's the employer identification number. This is gonna take you like seven minutes. Easy breezy, it's free. You go to irs.gov. Okay, I know you're writing this down with your your your, your pen and your pad. irs.gov, or you can just Google get EIN number IRS, and it'll bring up the link. But anyway, you just go through and you just give some information. This is the name of the LLC. I own it. This is the address, blah, blah, blah. And it will spit out a letter that says, congratulations, here's your EIN. 
Okay, here's your business number. And you need the business number to do a couple of things. Okay, the first thing is that you, you know, you're going to open a bank account, you got to have that number. If you are filing taxes, you have that number and for a couple other things. All right. So you got to do it because the next thing I'm going to say is number five, open the business bank account. Okay, so if you don't open the business bank account, again, this is just a formality of like, I'm representing John, right, in the breach of contract. And I'm like, you're a big faker because even though you actually started the LLC, you never got a business bank account. So I'm going to argue that you're not a real business. Okay, so that's number five. Very important, but obviously you got to get the EIN before you go to the bank. Um, and then there's other formalities, right? So please remember this, an operating agreement. Even if you are a single member LLC, you want to have a document that says basically this is how I run the business. It's another formality that helps you to protect yourself to be like when i argue you're a big faker you come back and you go mm -mm, i have a business bank account i registered the llc and i have an operating agreement which is the document that shows how i run the business who who owns the business so get that operating agreement so then number seven is with the formalities you need to maintain meeting minutes even if it's just yourself okay i need i need i need something to emulate me having a meeting with myself i don't know just like Hey guys, hi me, how you doing? I'm doing great, it's been a tough day. You have a great meeting. You're like, these are the things I'm gonna do. You can record yourself on a video and that video can operate as your meeting minutes. You can write it up in a Word document. Hopefully you know what Word is. If not, just write some notes, but save it. So when it comes to the formality of proving you are a real life business, meeting minutes, operating agreement, business bank account, and that's basically it, but obviously you need the EIN to open the business bank account. Um, and then, you know, as far as the operating agreement, if you guys need help, check out my office, Delgado Entertainment Law, I can help you with that. Um, but basically when it comes to just having this super powerful framework to protect yourself legally so that you can actually build a real life music business, even if it's just you. Okay, and I don't wanna say that to minimalize it in any kind of way, because even for people who start their own record labels, I'll just be like, even if you were just signing yourself, love it. Start your record label, <laughs> build it. Because now you have this very professional front when you are talking to booking people, when you are talking with other labels to do collaborations. And then if you do happen to sign other artists, sign music, buy music, do all the things, um, you know, again, you have this more professional structure around you. So I know you're gonna kill it. Be sure to give this video a big like and comment down below. The three things that you remember right now, and I'll say this in the chat as well, of the three things that I said for your formalities that you gotta do, what do you remember? Comment it down below.